Hello everyone, welcome to the Fixed Focus program. Today I want to talk about building a pyramid solar tracker. If you have watched the previous video, in that video we made a spherical tracker with 360 degree vision. You can see the video address of the making of this tracker above. This tracker is a two-axis tracker and it can be used as a single-axis tracker. And it has acceptable accuracy and can be used to move solar dishes. In this video, we are going to make a pyramid tracker that has a very good accuracy, but its viewing angle is 180 degrees and it needs a complementary circuit. Let's go to explain and build the pyramid tracker. We need to use plano convex lenses to make a pyramid tracker. This is a large example of this lens, but a smaller lens should be used to make a pyramid tracker. This example of plano convex lenses has an interesting feature that I will briefly describe. In this photo, this semicircle is the sum of the focal points of the lens, and this is also the lens itself. Sunlight from any side that hits the flat part of the lens hits the focal point from the other side of the lens and almost at the same angle. And this is the most important work of this lens in our tracker. Here I am using a smaller plano convex lens that is often seen in spotlights. This lens must be placed in a suitable mold and this mold must not let any light pass through it and be completely light insulated. Its material can be light insulating plastic or aluminum. The lens should be placed in this circle, and of course, before that, you should glue around it with the appropriate glue. Of course, before gluing the lens to the frame, we have to do something important. In practice, this lens has a large focal point, and in fact it has light scattering, and we need to make its focal point smaller. Like the pupil of our eyes, which is narrowed by too much light and will cause the eyes to see correctly. The focal point of this lens should be so small that it can cover less than the surface of a small photocell. For this, we stick a small circle-shaped adhesive on the surface of the lens flat and in its center. Of course, the glue I prepared is not so circular and I stick it in the center of the lens. Now I have to spray it with a matte black spray paint that doesn't let any light through. Now we will leave it aside until the paint dries. And until it dries, we go to the circuit inside the tracker. Before that, we have to prepare a piece of PVC pipe with suitable dimensions. These pipes are resistant to sunlight and rain. In order to make the video shorter, I have to remove the step-by-step -step circuit construction from the video and use the built circuit. The first step is to make this photocell kit, which is in the form of an equilateral triangle, the length of each side of which is 5 cm. And the shape of its printed circuit is like this, where all the photocells are connected in parallel. For triangles are needed to make a pyramid. I have already made four photocell kits, each of which contains 40 small photocells, of course, there are 38 in the printed circuit. Now I make them in the form of a pyramid. Thank you. 
I will put a photocell at the end of the pyramid. Of course, this photocell is the most important part of this solar tracker, and when the sunlight is perpendicular to our solar dish, the focus of the lens is placed on this photocell. Well, these four should be glued together and placed in the desired piece of PVC pipe and glued. Well, I made this pyramid with glue and connected the output wires of each separately to the flat cable and stuck it in the cylinder like this. Now our pyramid has four faces, and a photocell is located at the end. I have passed the flat communication cable through an anti-light plastic circle that I have drilled and applied non-transparent glue. I have also installed a base that includes two screws to keep the tracker on the system. Now, if we take a look at the lens that I painted matte black, we will see that it is completely dry. And remove the glue on the surface of the center of the lens. Sees how small the focal point is when the lens is held in front of the light. In fact, the height of the photocell pyramid should be designed so that the focal point of the lens is placed on the single photocell at the top of the pyramid when the surface of the solar tracker is perpendicular to the sun. Look at this image. You might ask yourself why we don't use larger photocells on the four sides of the pyramid. The problem of using larger photocells is that there is too much free space between them and the tracker will have problems in this empty space. Therefore, the smaller the photocells, the more accurate the tracker will be. Now we stick the lens in our mold and so that the photocells are not exposed to strong sunlight, we use a welding goggles like filter glass and stick it on the lens. If you look at the sun with these welding glasses, you should be able to see the sun easily without any damage to your eyes. I have already made a sample and glued it. And we put it on the tracker cylinder like this. And stick around it with a suitable glue that is resistant to water and sunlight. Of course, black silicone glue is suitable for work, or you can use non transparent two component glues. Make sure that light does not penetrate into the tracker housing from around the adhesive, otherwise, your tracker will not work properly. The shape of our cylinder will be like this. The face of the photocell pyramid must be in the correct direction relative to the location of the base. To connect the flat interface cable to the control circuit, I have numbered each pair and placed them in a double connector. To make such a circuit, you can use the circuit you see in the figure and make it carefully. I will put the connectors for each in place. The DC input circuit is these connectors and the output for turning on the DC motors is this connector, which has four outputs. The work of this detector is excellent and it is completely reliable and has a very long life, and its main enemy is rainwater, which should not penetrate into the tracker. It should be noted that there are various trackers in all types of videos, but these types of trackers will not be very accurate. Because, for example, the impedance of the photocells in the tracker with four photocells or two photocells are not the same, and no matter what conditions we create, they will not have acceptable accuracy. Of course, these types of trackers are suitable for rotating the solar panel, which does not require precision, but not for the solar dish. And this pyramid tracker is very accurate, cheap and reliable compared to other trackers. I hope you enjoyed this video and bye until the next show. Most videos on Fixed Focus channel have their own innovation and you won't regret watching them, thank you for subscribing and liking.